So yeah, this is pretty awesome. We're getting our first look at Game Creator 2. I want to highlight that this is an early version and not the actual release version. I'm also not covering everything that is new. So for example, we can also use root motion animations now in gestures, something I'm not going to highlight because those are little details. I'm just going to cover the bigger things. So before we get started, I'd like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the absolutely amazing support. So here we are after installing Game Creator 2 in a new project. Now if this project looks slightly different than you're used to, it's because we're using the new Unity 2021.2 beta version. So things will look slightly different if you're not used to that, but it's not all that different. It got better. So when it comes to Game Creator 2 itself, um, we have this new welcome window and we have a couple of slides. So we have video tutorials, documentation, um, learn by example, and we'll dive into that straight away. We have the Game Creator Hub and there's uh, something new to that as well. And we have, of course, the Discord. When we go to general, we have a couple of audio settings and that's it. Now, first things first, usually you are used to seeing a module manager. And now when we go into our Game Creator menu, you will no longer see a module manager. So we have a examples manager. And as we can see, we have our examples here. And in order to install this, we have some dependencies. So the character and some blocks. So I'm going to install all of these dependencies which takes a couple of seconds, not even, and then we'll install the examples as well. And perfect. Now before we dive into those examples, we're going to look at one more new thing, and that is the Game Creator Hub. And yes, the Game Creator Hub was something you already had with Game Creator 1. However, you had to go to a separate standalone website. It was not inside of the Unity editor itself. So that's really cool. Now I can't demonstrate this as I'm using a early release version. And as you can see, you need to have an account and this account needs to be tied to a token. Now, as this is not a purchase version, but an early release version, obviously we don't have that yet. So I can't demonstrate it, but it works pretty similar to what you'd expect um, from a package manager or something like that. So really excited about this. The Game Creator Hub is something I started using a lot more and every time I create a new project with Game Creator 1, there's at least six or seven different hub extensions I always install. So really excited, this is getting a bit more attention. When we go to the examples, we have tons of options and we're going to start with character because those are a couple of the biggest changes here. Um, is the way the character controller and the camera motor works. Now the camera motor, I'll start off straight away, is now called a camera shot. And as you can see, it obviously all looks different and we have a couple of different options as well. And I'll, uh, I'll dive into those in just a bit. So let's hit play and see how it looks. So first things first, the camera motor behaves or shot uh, behave slightly different um, and as you can see the way the player walks is slightly different as well yes we can customize all of this but this is a lot more in line with um, you know what a lot of modern games are doing so you don't just quickly turn around um, pretty cool um, we have more options for that as well so delays and you know the whole lot um, but yeah these are a couple of the big changes now of course we have um, IK um, and we have tons more options. Now, I will start off straight away by saying this is using Unity's newest input system. Um, so not the input manager, the new input system that is introduced um, you know, in the latest Unity versions. And this is a lot more flexible when it comes to adding different types of controls like gamepads, etc., which was one of the, you know, the more difficult things to do with Game Creator 1. It wasn't impossible, but it was a bit harder. And that's now become incredibly easy. And as you can see, we have a new character as well, completely custom model for Game Creator 2. So pretty cool, pretty awesome. 
So let's have a look at that camera shot. So like I mentioned, you know, we, we have the default third person and we had a look at how that works. Now we have first person as well and we have tons more options here on how to customize all of this, which is really, really nice. Um, not going to dive too much into it, um, but it's really cool. Um, but one of the things I wanted to show, because um, we have fixed and follow, but we have this new animation type. And one of the great things here is that we can simply, um, you know, drag and drop. And as you can see, we have a couple of options. And we can basically create a really simple way in order to, well, you know, basically um, see how we uh, are going to follow our path. And I'm going to try something like this. I'm going to, oh, sorry about that. I'm going to uh, do this a bit higher. So we're going to have a, a funny, funny way on uh, on doing this. Um, I don't know, a bit weird. Um, we'll do quad in. We'll leave that, and we're going to hit play. And um, what you'll notice um, straight away is that we have this, uh, you know, weird little animation playing. Um, it didn't make a lot of sense, I'll be honest. It was a weird one. But as you can see, it's incredibly easy to do this. And, you know, we, we can go completely to the, to the top. Um, so we can start from, uh, start from there. And basically, it can, uh, you know, we can play it like that. And yeah that's really really cool so really easy we can um, change times and when we have a look at the new um, follow track we have similar types of options and being able to just you know drag these nodes and just drag it around like that makes it incredibly easy and I'm really happy with that um, it's definitely really cool and will make like panning out or you know creating cutscenes a lot easier so yeah that's really cool now, next up, we have the character controller. And as you can see, we have a couple of uh, options here. It looks different. Um, so, you know, we have directional, point and click. Um, so we'll keep it directional. We have input types. And like I mentioned, you know, we have, uh, we have options here. And new options will be added. So the way this was created was uh, pretty modular. So we have, um, you know, new options being added later on. Now, obviously, keep in mind that this is uh, still an early release version, not even the first version. Um, so not everything will uh, will be there. Um, we have the rotation options as well. So the way we rotate, we can do the pivot, which is the default, but we can even have that delayed. Uh, kind of like you see in Assassin's Creed when you turn it around. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. Um, we have our animation options, um, you know, obviously inverse kinematics. And yeah, you can see that, right, you know, we have some footstep systems in there as well. And we'll, uh, we'll have a look at that. Really cool. Um, so we can actually have sound based on materials. Really happy with that. And that was something that was uh, a bit harder to do. Now we have a couple of more options. So we have reading, twitching, um, you know, a lot of IK work, which is really cool um, because you don't have to create animations for that. And it just makes it more natural. So that's uh, that's pretty awesome. Um, yes, we still have the ragdoll as well. So yeah, really cool stuff. A um, lot of changes, a lot more future proof, open to, uh, to new options, uh, which is something that is really, really welcome. So quite happy with that. So let's have a look at the next big change, and that is variables. Variables are one of the most important thing in Game Creator, and one of the best things about it as well. Now, previously we had our global variables in our preferences window, and as you can see, that's gone. It's no longer there. Now, we still have global variables, but they work slightly different. Now, if we play this scene, we uh, we kind of have a, uh, a similar look to uh, to what I did in the Brawler video. Getting close to a character will automatically turn you towards him, which is pretty awesome, of course. Uh, but that's not really the exciting thing. The exciting thing is definitely the global variables. So right now, global variables have become files. 
meaning yes you can have multiple now if you remember from my um, you know easy template kit for example one of the downsides of game creator one the way global variables were done is that um, if I imported um, you know a different project or if I imported my easy template kit I had to override the existing one I couldn't have multiple global variable files and now we can do that which is definitely one of the most exciting things um, we can just simply add a uh, an action here and look up bool select variable global name variable drag in our file now, I don't have one here so we can let's uh, let's add one um, which is player sure and then we can select a player and we can uh, toggle that to true and that's it really simple um, but definitely one of the best things in my opinion already about game creator 2 is having global variables being files we can have separate you can just copy paste them from project to project with ease as well import you know import different ones you can have one global variable file for your player things um, one for something entirely different and it makes it easier to keep things organized and at the same time it allows a lot more flexibility so yeah I'm uh, personally really happy about that now one of the other things you might have seen was that we can also do um, global variable list files as well which is really really cool so yeah definitely something I am personally really really happy with because um, you know I resorted often to using a lot of local variable files on prefabs etc etc none of that is necessary anymore if we can just do it like this so yeah really uh, really happy with this change cool so um, let's uh, let's get rid of all of these and let's have a look at how in general the new triggers and interactions work as well so when we add a trigger you will see that we have on start and you know we have a couple of new options here as well so as you can see on die on revive a couple of really uh, interesting new uh, triggers that I'll definitely dive into um, once game creator 2 is out um, but yeah we, uh, we you know we have uh, tons of uh, triggers that's that's all fine now one of the big changes here is that we can directly add an action so on start we can add a, well let's see if that's still there jump yeah we still have jump um, and then once I hit play um, the player is going to jump let's add a let's add a weight Cool. Let's do five seconds. And there we go. So this is definitely one of the big changes compared to Game Creator 1. We can have simple actions um, or instructions if we uh, if we don't need a whole set now if you still want that whole set or call conditions um, you know we can simply still do that um, so we can have uh, conditions run conditions check conditions um, so executes a conditions components object so that was the same as before now we also have the new check conditions which allows us to uh, well just as the description says which is by the way incredibly useful that we have all of these descriptions for everything as well really happy with that because even someone like me who's been using this for uh, a lot for uh, quite a while it's sometimes just really really useful to see this so yeah really really nice 
um, and then yeah you can just uh, run your uh, check your conditions so really nice so that's the way triggers work now when it comes to um, uh, conditions uh, we work with branches now um, which is to be honest pretty similar as it uh, as it was before um, it's just it makes more sense now so if this condition is met so um, player um, I don't know is that then um, I don't know S stop actions and you know we'd have actions um, and then we can have different branches so it works pretty similar to what we had before it just looks different and it honestly just makes slightly more sense compared to before so uh, yeah it's uh, it's really nice it takes up less space as well so quite happy with that but not all that different so if you're used to using game creator one um, you will jump into this straight away as well same with actions you know they uh, they just make a lot of sense it's uh, we have more of them tons more of them so we have a couple of really nice ones as well um, I think we had um, yeah we th this was something I, uh, I was happy to see change scale um, which is really nice and we can have values and that's something you will see um, with every single action um, you will have a lot more options here uh, in terms of um, you know self local uh, global world space um, these were things that you sometimes had in game creator one op actions um, other times you didn't now this has become pretty much default um, for everything and I could be wrong but I think it's default for every single thing right now that we can always just select um, uh, variables we can always select options um, you know in in their own world space or global world space those were things that once you start using game creator a lot more were sometimes missing with a lot of default actions now when it comes to scale um, you know it wasn't there at all <laughs> like uh, you know let's start off with that it's completely new um, that we have that but it's uh, it's really interesting to see that all of the actions have actually become a lot smarter in a way um, where we can reference a lot of different things and that's something I'm uh, I'm actually really really happy with because um, yeah like I said game creator one was a you know a, a mixed bag in that sense when it comes to actions not all actions had those options and now these instructions just all have them by default and that, that's really cool um, so same with lights color intensity that's uh, that's pretty cool to see there, there are you know there's a lot of the same actions um, there's a couple of new actions um, but yeah it works incredibly well so those are the uh, the triggers actions conditions and variables really excited to use that now there's tons more new things in Game Creator 2 and I will definitely cover all of that once Game Creator is actually out and released. I just wanted to show a couple of the highlights for people like me who've been using Game Creator 1 for a while and how a couple of things have changed. Now one of the biggest changes with Game Creator 2 is how it will actually integrate the new modules once they get released. One of the biggest things people often mentioned was that modules in Game Creator 1 were kind of standalone and didn't really integrate well with each other. Now that's completely different in Game Creator 2 and obviously we'll have to wait until the modules get released to get a nice view on how all of that works. But you know, as you might expect, there's a lot more coming so stay tuned and I'll cover it all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.